your corn seed may still be in the bag, not in the field yet, or your corn may be waist high already, but today we wanted to focus on some of the early growth stages in corn. These are important whether we're talking this year, next year, or any year. There are just some things you've got to look for in that corn plant early on. All right, so once that corn pops out of the ground, uh, the first true leaf is going to have a rounded leaf tip and you can kind of keep an eye on that first leaf that way for a while until later in the season when it kind of goes away. Uh, then every leaf afterwards is going to have a pointed leaf. So when we're talking about these leaf stages, we're talking about leaves that have a fully developed leaf collar. So that first leaf will have the rounded tip, then every leaf after pointed tip. So look for the leaf collars as we go. So for example, a two collar corn plant may have three or four leaves on it. That's fine. We aren't worried about exactly how many leaves are out. We're worried about the ones with the fully developed leaf collar. So if a plant has two fully developed leaf collars, we would call that V2 corn. And when I think about V2 corn, that's really important for me because there are some herbicides that you can spray only up to that point. And there are some herbicides you should only spray up to that point. Like I think about straight dicamba, Banville and Clarity. I'd really like those sprayed by V2 and here's why. Because at V3, it's possible that ear shoots could start to initiate inside your corn plant. So I realize that officially reproduction doesn't begin till silking, but actually inside the corn plant, reproduction is already starting at about V3. And when we talk about the, uh, the straight dicambas, we're talking about the unsafened versions. So like Banvel and Clarity, for example, the safeners certainly help as we're getting a little bit bigger. Uh, and, and there's a lot of different choices that you have to as corn gets bigger. You know, the next stage is after that V2, V3 that's really key. We're looking at V5, V6. And you'll hear a lot of herbicides say, well, I want to be done by V5. Why? Because at V6, the growing point is going to be above ground. Uh, so if you actually look at a corn plant at V4 or V5, all you're looking at above ground is leaves. It's just a bunch of leaves stacked on top of each other. That growing point doesn't come out until V6. Also at V6, that's when the ear girth is starting to get determined. So in other words, the number of rows around that ear, if you want to have a big ear, you've got to have lots of nutrition getting into the plant at that point and reduce stress. Also at that time, you'll, you'll typically look at a fungicide application. We'll say V4 to V7 is the window, but really uh, you want to make sure you've got a healthy plant and reducing the stress like Brian had just mentioned because you're setting yourself up for the next few leaf stages where the kernels long on that ear are going to be determined. Now you're going to have to do a good job with pollination. You're going to have to do a good job with fertility and stress management late in the season too to keep all those kernels on the ear. But these early vegetative stages are just so critical setting yourself up for success down the road. I've talked to many livestock producers and they say it's really like cattle. If you've got a young calf and they don't get off to a good start, it's really hard for them to catch up down the road. But if they start off healthy, they can tolerate a lot of stresses down the road and still be successful. The same holds true for your corn crop. One of the things that can stress out a crop more than anything is weeds. We've got our Weed of the Week coming up next.